What is up, YouTube? Happy Wednesday. It is October 31st, so therefore, happy Halloween as well. And it actually looks like Halloween outside. It's all drizzly and cold, uh, really gray out today. There was a moment of sunshine when I was driving into work this morning, and um, that quickly passed and gave way to just clouds. Um, the cool thought that I was having as I was looking at the clouds was just remembering when um, I would fly out and we'd go through the clouds and it'd be all bumpy and horrible and then you get above that and there's sun shining and everything's beautiful and calm and you can kind of see in some cases like lightning down below you and that cloud cover and like that's all you see but you're up in the uh in the sky above all of that and that got me thinking about how our mindset is in some cases kind of like those clouds right uh, we can a lot of times find ourselves living down underneath the clouds in the rain and the drizzle coming down and it's cold and it's dreary and we get you know depressed or you know finding a place of uh, you know where we're pensive and just thinking about things maybe too much um, or we can climb above those clouds and spend some time in the sun and just find ourselves rising above that place. Um, each of those is a choice that we make in any given moment. Um, and each of those can take us to a different outlook on things and help us to overcome. And there's no right or wrong uh, answer to you know where the right place to be at is. You know, if it wasn't for the rain falling down, grass couldn't grow, the trees couldn't grow, we wouldn't have, you know, herbs and grain and the foods that we have to eat or that the animals we eat consume. Um, but also if we didn't have that sunshine that's above that, you know, A, it wouldn't make the rain to come down and B, uh, it wouldn't help the plants to grow. Um, so both places are, are valid. Um, and both being pensive and taking time to reflect and, you know, find that place of introspection is important. Um, just as much as it is to rise above that sometimes and just bask in, you know, that sun and, um, you know, find a, find a place above it and maybe a deeper meaning to, to what's going on. Um, if that sounds like a uh, deeper or, or hoo-hoo, um, you know, a, a lot of that thought process for today comes from uh, events that happened this time last year. Uh, that really set me on a path to, I suppose you could call it self-discovery, um, or maybe a, a deeper meaning. Um, in another episode, I'm sure I'll go into more detail on what happened, but suffice it to say that last year was extremely difficult, um, and that carried over into this year uh, to a large extent as well, um, and shook and shattered my world and my view that I had um, to no end. Um, the outcome, I think, is putting me on a path to spend more time in that sun uh, and more time looking at the positive and the meaning behind things uh, as opposed to before where I would just get caught up in, you know, being complaining and, you know, angry. And again, as I've said before, I still get angry and I still get upset at things really easily. Um, but, you know, there's, there's uh, something deeper behind it. But I think it's good when we go through situations like that to kind of mark it uh, in our mental calendar and take some time to review it the same way that we would on, um, you know, January 1st, you know, December 31st, January 1st, we take time to kind of review and take stock of the previous year. Um, and, you know, think about things that we'd want to change and, and who do we want to be and what are our goals for the upcoming year. Or we do that, I do that, you know, around my birthday, uh, around Father's Day, you know, for, for different reasons. There are kind of road marks in our path that when we pay attention to them and we remember them and and I use this term loosely, but celebrate those moments um, in one way or another um, can remind us of 
where we've come from and, and what we've overcome, the path that we've taken, um, both positive and negative, uh, both good and bad, and allow us to recognize that the thoughts that we've had, the person that we were, um, the way that we dealt with a specific situation, it all passes. Time passes quickly. You know, um, if you're angry in the morning or really, really happy when you first wake up, um, it's a moment. That That's all it is, is a moment. And that's going to pass. And unless you force yourself to stay in that situation, um, you're going to move on. And you're going to have new emotion and new feeling and new thoughts that are going to arise that are going to take the place of that. Um, so it's important to step back and sometimes reflect on those thoughts, those feelings, those events that have occurred that led us to a particular place uh, in time and acknowledge them for what they are, uh, ask ourselves what we've learned and ask ourselves where we want to go and, and what we want to become um, so that we can continue to grow uh, rather than just glossing over those situations or staying and stewing in those situations, you know, using them to move on and, um, you know, become the, the person that we were called to be. So I hope that helps. Uh, you know, I guess the, the call to action on that would be to just take some time and um, reflect on your own personal mindset, uh, reflect on your own personal path, uh, identify those key pivotal moments that have occurred in your life because we've all had those. Um, and maybe as you reach the anniversary of those dates, uh, take a minute to reflect on where you've come from since those things have occurred uh, and who you are now and who you want to be you know next and in the future what's the next iteration of you look like um, maybe as a result of those events uh, or maybe in spite of those events you know the the things that you've had to overcome to become the man or woman that you are now um, it's all worthwhile and it leads to a, a deeper fuller life it can lead to a deeper fuller life uh, when we allow it to take us to those places so uh, happy halloween and uh yeah cheers <laughs>